So you're telling me the world's richest company wants to use my internet for free to build their network? If you're thinking, what the f I don't blame you. After all, that seems to be the message that many of the tech media are sending out. Basically, scaring the heck out of you and encouraging you to opt out of Amazon Sidewalks so that you can keep your privacy and protect your own network security. That's incorrect and I'm not buying that. Before we dive in, let me start off by saying that I'm not gonna try convince you one way or another. If you wanna opt out of Amazon Sidewalk, go for it. But I do think there's a lot of drama soaking the web, so I'm just saying. So what is Amazon Sidewalk? Amazon Sidewalk is a shared network that helps devices like Amazon Echo devices, ring security cams, outdoor lights, motion sensors, and tile trackers work better at home and beyond the door. When enabled, Sidewalks can unlock unique benefits for your device, support other Sidewalk devices in your community, and even locate pets and lost items. Translated into plain simple language, well, let's say you have a ring doorbell that notifies you of motion outside your home. Now you're away and the device loses connectivity to your Wi-Fi for whatever reason. Basically, you would be screwed and you would have to wait until you got back home to fix the issue. If you're part of Amazon Sidewalk, it will use that system to help you get connection to your Ring camera even when your own Wi-Fi is glitchy. If you happen to drop your keys that has the town tracker on it and the homes around that area are part of Sidewalk, that will make it easier to track down your keys. These are solid solutions, but what has triggered many people is that Amazon has automatically opted you into Sidewalks and it's up to you to opt out. Not a great move by Amazon, but let's be honest. If they ask you to join, many people will simply ignore the message. Doesn't make it right, just the reality. The big elephant that's in the room is simply boils down to trust. Can you trust Amazon? What is not going down well is that Sidewalk uses your internet bandwidth without your permission. It has naturally upset people that have already got slow internet connections or pay per megabyte for their bandwidth or are concerned that some hacker can use Sidewalk to get into their network. All totally valid. To clear some of that up, Sidewalk will only use 80 kilobits per second and the total monthly data is kept at 500 megabytes. For some, that is nothing, but for others only getting say three megabits per second and having a data cap of one gig, well, that is a lot and you should absolutely opt out. Okay, let's unpack the tech a little bit more. Sidewalk works by essentially creating a mesh network between your devices and others. So your Echo acts like a bridge and uses Bluetooth, the 900 megahertz spectrum and other frequencies to extend coverage. Devices on the mesh network can connect to the bridge and access the web via internet. The tech seems to be solid, but what about security? I've been through the technical white paper of how Amazon is protecting your network from someone trying to use Sidewalk to access your personal information. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description below if you wanna go through that yourself. But essentially, the system is designed with multiple layers of security and encryption. So only approved recognized devices can use Sidewalk. If a device uses your bridge to access the internet and the network, that device info isn't shared with you. Neither is your info shared with that device. Now, I have to assume that Amazon has some serious security teams to try break the system and leak data everywhere, just as I have to assume that the bad guys are, you gotta use this as a vector to enter people's network and steal the bandwidth to use their bots for their evil doing. So it's kind of like the spy versus spy thing all over again. Security holes will be discovered, they will be patched. Now that those who are watching this and say, look, I simply don't trust Amazon, and that is valid and that is fair, they don't really have a stellar record and this whole automatically opting in does leave a bit of a bad taste. These people are 100% opting out of Sidewalk. But then the question is, why do you have any Amazon products full stop? In other words, if you trust Amazon enough with your Ring securities or your Alexa, but you don't trust it enough with Sidewalk, well, that kind of doesn't make sense. I'm personally not opting out of Sidewalk. I see great value in having my security system still working if someone's trying to break into my house and they cut my internet cable. And no, they don't usually cut power because power automatically alerts the security company. 
I'm also not worried enough that the hackers are going to get into my network. There are far easier vectors to get into someone's system than to hack Amazon. Of course, that is right now and things could probably change and then I'll stop using Amazon products altogether. For now, I'm okay trading my bandwidth, being part of the community and see where this whole process goes. Now, since we're talking about trust, check out this video over here about the Google Home Mini to see if that's listening to you and check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch and I'll see you in this video or this video. I'll see you in both. Let's go.